Shalom all. Still in the series of God, God Trinity. Now we're talking about what God, uh, that God Trinity is always like that from the beginning. Because maybe something, some people think that, um, well, because people uh, sin and then God has to become three to save the world and then afterwards give his Holy Spirit so that people can commune and fellowship with God but it has been since the beginning before even creation God has been Trinity he does not change he does not need he God doesn't need anybody God doesn't need to change in fact as I mentioned before that God is a community in the Trinity and he's God of love we discussed again last week that God is God of love out of this abundance love outflow then he created everything through his son and for his son because God loved the son and son loved the father so it has been since the beginning in fact there are many Bible verses in the Old Testament but of course the true revelation the full revelation i would say about god trinity god the father god the son god the holy spirit is fully revealed when jesus came so after jesus came then it confirms all the verses which is already in the old testament that god trinity is from the beginning in genesis 1 it says that when god just created uh, the, the 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 earth still empty and the spirit of god yeah, is moving upon the waters yeah upon the earth what spirit is that well of course we didn't we didn't get the full full revelation until jesus came on that but also in genesis god also says when he wanted to create mankind adam and eve he said let us create let us yeah god elohim in that also he says that elohim is actually a plural noun it's not a singular noun so elohim god is plural there and when he says let us create us created man adam according to our image so it's not talking about a single person there at least there are more than one and then when there was this trouble the tower of babel tower of babel god says let us come down let us come down and check it out let us come down and there are many other verses even in the book of isaiah uh, uh, that god even says that heard the voice lord saying whom shall i send whom will go for us say God for us okay and also in the book of Isaiah chapter 54 says that for your maker is your husband the Lord of hosts is his name maker here is in the plural sense also so it is very clear that God is is well in that verses is at least not one person more than one person of course i repeat again god trinity is god one is nature which is god but three person and we talk about does it make sense already and is it necessary yes it is necessary because god is love and then now it has been since the beginning and even deuteronomy 6 that shema yisrael that always uh, mentioned by the the Jewish people in fact probably once or twice or at least once a day Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Yahweh Elohim Yahweh Echad is talking about Echad Echad is uh, uh, sorry the, the answer is uh, 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 here O Israel the Lord is our God the Lord is one one in here echad is it doesn't mean one single a single thing but it's talking about one is in unity you know 
something which is not really talking about singleness but unity some translations say uniqueness because there is none other like him is okay but it is more to unity so uh, that tells us that God even when Jesus came is already God Trinity it has been since the beginning of time it's not because uh, man need salvation that God becomes true. No, it has been since the beginning. Even the Bible says that everything is created for God the Son, from Jesus, for Jesus and through Jesus. And without Jesus, nothing has been created that was already created. Hallelujah. It has been since the beginning. Hallelujah. We'll talk more about that, brothers and sisters. But remember always that God is good and His mercy endures forever. Hallelujah.